and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be going through how to clean your master files for Skyrim. So in this video, I'm going to assume a couple of things. One, you have Mod Organizer 2 installed. Two, you have SSE Edit installed and added to your Mod Organizer 2 drop-down list, and you have the game installed. If you have not done these things, you're going to want to hit the pause button. You're going to want to install Mod Organizer 2. Video link is in the description. You're going to want to install SSE Edit. That link to that video is also in the description. And you're also going to want to install your Skyrim game, which you'll have to do to do those other things anyway. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, open your mod organizer too. You're going to want to go to your drop down. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the update ESM. So you're going to go to SSE edit quick auto clean. Hit run and scroll all the way down. I just do don't show again until changed. Hit OK. Please read. Don't show this again for a while. Close. Okay. You're going to want to double click your update ESM. And then it's going to run its program. It's going to do its voodoo magic here. And you're just going to wait until it stops running. Okay. So once you see this finished screen, that means you are all done with the update ESM. So now once you've done that, you can exit out of SSE edit. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run quick auto clean again. And yes, some of this can take a while. So you are going to have to be patient, but it is worth it in the end. Just double click on Dawn guard and then let SSE edit do its thing. This could take a few minutes. Okay, and once again, once you see this is finished, you can exit out of the quick clean. So now what you're going to want to do, we're going to now have to clean Dawn Guard manually. So we're going to have to go to our drop down and launch the normal SSE edit. Click run. Double click on Dawn Guard ESM. Okay, once everything is loaded in, you're going to want to go to your Dawn Guard ESM. You're going to want to drop it down. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to cell. Drop that down. You're going to want to go to block five. Drop that down. You're going to want to go to sub block three. Drop that down. And then you're going to want to go to the Riften Ragged Flagon. And you're going to want to scroll down on the right side until you see XEZN Encounter Zone Riften Radaway. Here it is. So now what you're going to want to do, you see how this has something, this is missing. So now we have this straggling reference. We do not want that. Uh, that can cause issues. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to, you're going to hit remove. It is going to give you a warning. Just hit yes. I am absolutely sure. Sure. And then that is the first one you want to do. So the next, what the next thing you're going to want to do is your you can close all this stuff back up actually you want to stay in cell so you're going to go cell you're going to go to block two then you're going to go to sub block one and then you're going to go to zero 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 one fa4 ce which is this right here and right click and you're going to hit remove it's going to ask you if you're sure if yes And then that is all you need to do for sub block one. And then the last reference we're going to want to get is we're going to want to go to cell once again. We're going to want to go to block eight. Go to sub block one, right click, and you're going to hit remove. 
say yes. Once you are done that, you're going to want to X. And then it's going to ask you if you want to save the changes, you're going to click OK. Then you're done with Dawn Guard. So then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your drop down. You're going to want to launch SSE Edit Quick Auto Clean again. And then you're going to want to double click on the Hearth Fire ESM. And the Auto Clean will run. Once it says finished, you know you're done. Exit out. And now for the last time, you're going to want to run your SSE edit quick auto clean. And you guessed it. We want to do the Dragonborn ESM. And then SSE edit is going to do its thing. Then once again, once you see this is finished, click X. Go back to your SKSE because that's how you're going to launch the game. So you're going to see this warning come up and it says there are files in your overwrite directory, which that's fine. That's not a problem. You can double click on your overwrite directory. Then really what you're going to do is you're going to click on your overwrite directory. You're going to want to create mod. Just uh, say... Um, SSE edit backup. Click OK. You're going to put this all the way to the top. But you want to leave it unchecked. Do not check it because you do not want it activated. And to make sure that everything is still running smoothly, you're going to want to run SKSE once again. If your game starts up correctly, you have the ENB series. If you have an ENB installed and you get to this screen, you know you have done everything correctly and you have cleaned your Skyrim master files. So I hope this video was helpful to you all. Once again, cleaning your master files will help with stability and performance with your game. If you have found this helpful, make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, more tutorials or live streams, or just hang out with us, uh, you can hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button. If you need any help with this or with the load order or um, in any other fashion that we can help you set up your game, we have a Discord server. That link will be in the description. You can come join us and we'll try to help you in any way we can. Uh, but thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.